Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It's time to play The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, please let me know if the game's audio is too loud because my ear says it's very loud, but I can't tell what the recording software does. Uh, so heads up, I know nothing about the game. I know the title. That's it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead, let's get in. Woohoo. Who is this OC looking boy? Whew. Is that me? No. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. That has to be me, doesn't it? Hmm. So far so good for my first day on the job. Is he supposed to look like the default character from Forces, like on purpose? Oh, I totally forgot my name tag. Is it ready yet? I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Uh, my name is Tony. Obviously that's my name. Tony, did I spell that right? Yeah. Hope passengers could read my scribble. That's your fursona. Oof. Let's, uh... I mean, he could be worse. I've seen worse looking fursonas, for sure. I'm in the dining car. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Tony, shake it off. The conductor, who is a big handsome dog. Tony, did I... Did, did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? <laughs> Mr. Conductor, sir, uh, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself, though feeling a bit bittersweet. Uh, is that because you're a sweetie? That's, that's what I would say. Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on the retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. I know that name. Why do I know what Spagonia is? That's a Sonic thing, isn't it? That's not like a real thing. I stay before his retirement. Retirement. Please let me know if the audio is too loud or too quiet, everyone. I'd love to know. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Ha <laughs> ha. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles! Today's your first day working on the dining car. Here's the menu for today. The menu's been added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Mirage Express's dining menu it features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Alright. Wait, that's all? When it said featured, I thought that was like the, like the specials. That's literally the whole menu. <laughs> What if you're a vegetarian? I guess it's vegetarian ramen, we'll say that. Damn, he's married. It's one of the countries in Sonic Unleashed. Really nice Easter egg. I thought it was Sonic Unleashed. I was gonna- my gut was to say Sonic Unleashed, but then I was like, ah, oh, maybe it was Black Ring. Or whatever, the, the Night of the Wind, whatever the fuck that one was. But no, I, I should have just guessed. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, chicken cordon bleu. Ding, ding, ding! Glad you can read the menu. Uh, a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event for today? A murder mystery party. No Aw, no one's gonna actually die? That's lame. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. I bet someone will actually die, though. That's the twist. This will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Uh, I can't afford to lose his job. I'll make you proud. I'll, I sure will. Glad this old man can finally rest easy. Jesus Christ. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Oh, that's a pretty silly looking train. I like the station that we're in, though. Oh, there he is! Knuckles with the, with the cowboy hat! We got Amy. Oh, I thought they were going to show everybody like coming in one by one. That's fine. I like the art in this already, it's very cute. It is super cute. 
and that menu is my entire time. <laughs> God. We got Tails. Look how silly he looks. I like this, like, filter that's on the whole thing. I don't know if I can turn it off. I do like the way it looks, though. Wow, this train is incredible! What fascinating text, uh, says Tails. Oh god, it's Vector, too. You're right, Tails! I can get used to staying on a train like this! What is he wearing? Is that like a... Is that a butcher's frock or a painter's apron? I need to know if that's blood or paint. We're gonna go with blood for fun. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday parties. Oh hey, Roosh has a coat? It's not as good as her normal outfit. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I, did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? His... Look at his fucking hat. Oh, I love his hat so much. His hat is so stupid. Oh, he has a little... Look, if you look, you can see he has a little, um... Like a cowboy thing, a vest. It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with here? You got a hold of yourself, Tony. You're sweating through your uniform. Wow, this kid really is my fursona, sweating all the time. <laughs> Why is Sonic dressed like a captain? Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, rightio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Nah, dude, that was normal. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food! <laughs> Sorry about that birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Tony, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their tickets. Okay, got it. Oh shit. I can talk to the robot arm too? Alright. Let's see, who should we- we're gonna- we have to start with Knuckles. He's hiding over here in the corner. Show me his full- yes! He's got a bandana, a little deputy star in his vest. What a little cutie patootie he is. I love that. The birthday girl. Oh my god. People like Vector. I'm surprised that everybody is excited to see Vector. <laughs> He's kind of... He's a little bit of a wiener, but I guess Vector's okay. Crocodiles are cool. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? Oh, it's all crumpled. I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> That's it? That's all you got to say? Wait, what if I talk to him again? Oh, I can. Great. <laughs> Maybe we should leave this dude alone. Can I take your order? Not interested, he says. Either he's really not interested or he doesn't know how to read. Chicken corn on blue does sound good, though. Well, that answers that. Alright, we'll get him a chicken corn on blue. Let's talk to the robot arm. Mmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. Tony, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure... <laughs> I can just talk to the train itself, that's great. Train, be sure Tony only gets one of those if they ask. Oh, okay. It, like, winked. I mean, I guess it has one eye. Probably has another hand, but it winked. Actually, uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Is it gonna live in? Is, is it gonna listen? <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. The snacks look really tasty, too. Alright, let's go for Edgy Boy Shadow. Here. Man, look at pris pristine ticket. Thank you. Everything is over. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no. Uh, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. There. Ooh, so cold. Tony, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? No, 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 I'm good. Why did he want a gift bag? Is he giving a gift to one of these lovely ladies? It can't be Rouge or Amy. It must be Espion for sure. That's not his name. I don't, re I don't remember his name, but Espion is as close as I could remember. I know that's the Pokemon. Could we please see your ticket? Espio! There it is. That's what it was. I know it had Espy something in it. Of course. There's the ticket. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. He has a fucking... F he has a rose? He's the tuxedo mask of the group. I love him. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? <laughs> he 
He's looking right at me. I studied ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. We're gonna do Vector last, because everyone liked him. Let's go for Blaze, why not? May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much, on top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I admit, I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay here, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? I don't know, dude. I mean, I thought we won a little bit with Knuckles. And Espio. I mean, we're gonna get Knuckles' his food for sure. If that's a thing later, we're gonna do it. Alright, birthday girl. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hehe. <laughs> Why, certainly. I was kind of hoping that more of these tickets would have things like wrong with them. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And the murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. God damn it, Amy, you're one of those. Maybe we should leave her to have her fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. <gasps> Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use these? Oh, it's the birthday key. That unlocks any door of the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. Practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely, thank you. Uh, let's see, we got Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. I was hoping it'd have, like, a string attached and she'd, like... You, like, fetch it back after giving it to us, like a little thief. Go back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak the, that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Man, the conductor, he's fucking professional, isn't he? Oh, this was yours. <laughs> must have must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best judge of character. Uh, we are missing Tails and Sonic. We'll do Tails. And then, obviously, Vector. Can I get your ticket, youngin? This is a little, little guy ticket. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Tails, for fuck's sake, bro. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too! It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Hell yeah, dude. Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. My man's bonding over fucking fruit snacks. Ticket, please! There's Sonic's ticket. Thank you kindly! Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much, other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? From every fucking porn website ever made, including Tumblr and Twitter.com? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Will do, thanks. All right, and we get to end with everybody's favorite boy except for me, Vector. There he is. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something uh, amiss, sir? I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his, bar his embar embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns out. Oh, th th that would be amazing! Thanks a million! Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Oh shit, do I actually have to look for the ticket right now? 
Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. There's gotta be more shit I can click on. Start talking to Arm again. Ah, uh, no, it's just, the, it's just the same thing. What a silly, goofy boy. Sonic the Hedgehog from the DeviantArt website front page. I wonder what cake topper Sonic picked out for me. Can I take your order? No thanks, I'm saving my room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring cake a cake for you? Yes, that was Sonic's job. Oh god, no. Sonic looks awfully nervous all of a sudden. Look at it! <laughs> That's a great reaction image. Hold on, I'm gonna screen cap that. If it was smaller, if I could like put this on my server, I, I fucking would. Haha, <laughs> Sonic, why did you turn to look at the wall, teehee? Sonic? Oh god. Where am I gonna find this fucking ticket? Maybe I should talk to him again. It's probably... Oh wait, should I talk to everybody a second time? That's probably what I should be supposed to do. Find anything yet? We're still looking. Keep me posted, kid. Yeah, I think we're supposed to. Let's talk to Tails. What a beautiful train. I feel completely at ease. The menu, sir? I don't like reading things from strangers. Fair enough. It's a little weird, not gonna lie. You gotta click the arrow. I gotta click the arrow? The arrow, the arrow, the arrow, the arrow. Ah, here we go. Oh, I see. I just assumed that was a menu the whole time. Like, that was like a pull-out menu. Also, why is... This looks very much like, uh, like Amy here. It looks like Amy with that, like, long quill design that she had when she was very small. It'll move you to the other side of the room. Okay, alright. That makes sense. I was gonna kill Sonic for his transgressions, I'm calling it. I... I would believe that. I mean, Sonic had all the time in the world to get the cake, I'd imagine. Considering he can move at, like, supersonic speed, he could literally get the cake at any time and he still didn't fucking do it like a loser. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? A crumpled ticket. Say, it wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier. Let's be sure to return it to its rightful owner. Well, let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Let's observe it real quick. So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll return it. I have faith. Talk to him. Hello, Beast Hunter. Welcome to the stream, my dude. Uh, find anything yet? God, I wish I could do voices like I could when I was younger. You know? That way I could, like, do wacky voices here. Well, we just might have what you need. Tony, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? <laughs> what happens if I give him the menu? Oh, I'm starved. I'll take one of each. But second thought, baby. I'll... Oh, wait, wait a bit. Tony, I was referring to the other thing we picked up. Right, right, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, there it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. <laughs> Old Tony here would have their hands full kicking you out. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Holy shit, dude. The, like, angle his leg is is coming out of is very silly looking. It makes him look like he's very short. Like, hilariously small. He's like... He's like Tails' height, which is pretty silly. Oh, goodness. Wait, who who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for the departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? We'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. Bro. I don't know if you fucking saw Vector. He lost his ticket. I don't think that's true. And the train. Assist Tony if they need any help, won't you? Thanks, Arm. <laughs> that's all I needed to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Tony here if you need anything. Sounds good, says Tails. Absolutely, says Sonic. Will do, says Vector, who for some reason gets to be put next to Tails and Sonic on this seemingly important screen. Goodbye now, says Amy. I like that guy, says Vector. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. 
Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest of us suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Wink. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor's car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective, and you'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll f <laughs> and we'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, yeah, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. I was right, it was a butcher's frock. And Espio, you're the poet. Both found in the library. Why the, Why would the butcher not be in the saloon? Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? I think they're gonna have sex in there. Shadow is the locksmith. Look, it's the lockpicking lawyer's persona. Hanging out in the lounge. <laughs> and last but not least, me. The journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you all get that? Yeah. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Uh, uh, that, that reminds me. Oh shit, we got a map. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. All right. So we gotta start here in the dining car and work our way through. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! Alright, we're going. We got this. This is good. Hmm. Imagine being murdered and you have to lie dead for the whole train ride. Yeah, I was I was thinking that the whole time. That's the biggest issue with these games like this, is that one person is just going to be sitting there, doing nothing. I guess it would make sense to give it to the least interested person, so I guess Shadow being murdered would be fine, but like, you know. The game is called Sonic the Hedgehog being murdered, I guess. That's the full title, actually. Oh, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Also, uh, ironic, you've played this game before, right? How how long is it? Can I do this in a single stream, or am I going to have to do this over two? Because there's no way this game is long enough for me to need more than, like, two streams to do it. It's kind of scary. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same! Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So, we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scooping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Uh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows about the person who received them. No one knows but the person who received them. Ew, what is that? The backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Hey. Is that like a little bit of a gamma reference? I hope so. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. <laughs> The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? I'm, I'm slipping! Oh god. I, I, I can't! Ah! No! Is it gonna crash? Are we all gonna die? Is it the, is it the murder of everybody who came to Amy's birthday party? Oh shit. The microwave is okay though, so I think everything's fine. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? 
Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. It's about two hours? Yeah, alright. This train car, uh, this train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my, f it's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Tony, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shaft a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Don't tell me she didn't bring it. Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy, she's hiding something. Mm-hmm. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen. I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check- <laughs> Let's interrogate her in this incredibly small room after we've been physically hurt by the train. This is a great idea. Check out everything you can around this closet. Uh, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. I need to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Yes, we did just see that. Okay. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Let's see, what do we got here? What's this? A rod? It's the hammer broken! The, the shaft! The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around. So we'll keep it. Stick has been added to your inventory. Let's see what it says. Some sort of stick on closer inspection. Could it also be a handle? Pre yes. <laughs> oh, I can't open the microwave. That's a bummer. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Some books? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? This kid is... Listen, my persona is straight up flirting with Tails. We're gonna be Tails' best buddies, and then romantically, we're gonna get married. And then I'll get to fly around in the big fancy airplane instead of Sonic. When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Let's see, anything up here? No. We'll do the wet floor sign. Wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast that, I s that he s also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, Tony, look closely at this. I wonder how the side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. Hmm. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train, Amy. I'll keep looking. St start interrogation! Now let's talk to her. Oh no, it's just the same thing. I thought there was going to be more. Hmm. Who wouldn't want to be Tails' best friend? You're already sparkle gelatin buddies. You're practically halfway to marriage. That's true. We're already there. Ooh, give me that interrogation music. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. <gasps> what? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here, just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Murdered a suspect? No. Uh, microwave to chili talk. Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Tony and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? 
Tony, let me step you let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence in your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Um, this? This one. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, uh, well, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? Probably run really fast, I guess. Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running for- Yeah, that's what I said. He's you just run, I guess. Collecting rings, crushing badniks, he never loses. Like uh, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of a lot of those on my phone. <laughs> sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Uh, Alright, okay. Let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and find a fire comeback. Like Sonic would do. I don't... Sonic's not a big thing. Tony's Dream Gear. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Alright, yeah, alright. Let's collect some fucking rings, boys. Huh. Boink. 32, 32 rings. Easy peasy. It is literally the first one. I was not expecting actual gameplay here. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, I, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelves. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Obviously, this stick. What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do some, this kind of damage? Yeah. Because it was a hammer, Amy Elmore rings. Give me those rings, boys. Oh! Oh, shit! Okay. You think I've been twirling around that stick a bit too much? Oh god, let's try to follow that train of thought again. Yeah, no, that's that's on me. I'm not good at jumping. Okay. Alright. God, the perspective is a little fucky. There we go. Alright. There we go. You're right, a stick couldn't do this kind of damage on the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. <gasps> this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. <laughs> You're a loser. The handle of the hammer snapped right off. <laughs> it's... As you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the hammer ripped right off. Or the handle. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was one of my backups, so uh, it's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective. And I dabble as a mechanic. Let's see. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Oh, thanks, Tails. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back, boys. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. There we go. It goes well, Anime Ghost. How are you doing today? I definitely struggled on the last couple of running sections. The perspective is just a little weird. Because it's that, like, tilted angle where I'm gonna jump and I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna land. It's it's a little fucky, but it's not bad. Wait, is that... Oh no! It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. 
I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind. Exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This image is absolutely fantastic. This game is full of really good reaction images. S Sonic? Oh shit. You know what I want to do? I want to take that picture of Yamcha where he's on the ground in the crater, but I want to put so I want to put this Sonic like over top it. That'd be so fucking funny. Ah, trying to go to your uh, Demon Slayer movie at work. That's fun. He in the Family Guy death pose. He is in the Family Guy death pose. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Body numb, can't move. What? What do you say? I don't understand. I just need to. Rest. Sonic? Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but it, 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 I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no. I, I feel myself panicking. Calm, calm down. What do I do? Is the arm gonna tell me what to do? I know. The conductor's wise words. Make sure they're taken care of. saw that. We don't need to do it again. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game. I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. <sighs> the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Very good stuff. In the fucking saloon, boys. Whoa, look at this place. Hey, Tails, where are you? I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. God, how do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he's, he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. I promise. What if he knocked his head on something when, he, when the, crane, the, the train started moving, you know? Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the mystery game? Oh my god, I can't stop yawning. Holy fuck. Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints! What are ye all doing in me saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. Uh, I have nothing to tell you, either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Tony, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate him. Alright, let's do it. Let's start over here. Let's see, that'll probably just take me to the next area. We'll go for the bowl. Ah, a bowl of assorted nuts, the classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Hmm. Seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? <coughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. Let's see, we got arm over there. Ah! Howdy, partners. Let's see, will, will it actually just let me leave? That's funny. The door's locked tight. Can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. Where, when were these doors locked? How long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Let's see, we've got some drinks with a thing on one of them. 
Tony, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure. Why are there three? But Knuckles is really thirsty? <gasps> Tony, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been. It's literally the same shade as the skin. It definitely is. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. Let's see here. Used cups sitting on the saloon car's bar. One cup has a lipstick mark on the rim. Let's talk to Arm. Robotic arms here are really helpful. Is he gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's gonna wink. What's... What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What, what interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How, how well can it microwave? Let's uh, go this way. Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters. But I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding on the cars. I'll never understand this friend group. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Fucking Omachow. Poor Omachow. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Fucking this game has a goddamn Omachow reference in it. What a good what a good game. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. I'm gonna check every fucking trash can and there's gonna be something eventually. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails is ignoring me. Clearly, we won't be able to give the the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it was broken when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? Oh yeah, who? Who could have... Who could have done that? Oh, I have no fucking idea who could have done that. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. A Super Monkey Ball arcade machine completely smashed up. It's a shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. I thought I told you to leave me alone! I like your hat. <gasps> He's blushing. What a little cutie patootie. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Could you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said, leave! Uh, can I take your order? Fuck, no. Okay, start interrogation. Absurd state. Just wanted to stop by. Well, thanks for stopping by, Anime Ghost. I hope you, hope you have a good time at your theater. Put a medical in practice. Let's, let's interrogate him. Knuckles, Tony and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We, we do? Tony, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade machine? <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? Uh, gee. Probably the big knuckle marks just in him, but, you know, what do I know? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, fuck. Ah, no. Okay, you can't roll over the balls. You can't do that. Well, you see how we have... Uh, hmm. Ouch. Let's do it again, let's do it again. I'm really not great with this perspective shit. Weren't they- they were gonna make like an entire Sonic the Hedgehog game. It was gonna be in this perspective and then they just- fuck, they didn't do it. No, 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 no. Now I remember. They were gonna make a- they were gonna make a Sonic game using the Knights into Dreams engine. Um, uh, but then... But then when the Nice and the Dreams team found out about it, not not the team, but the guy in charge, what the fuck's his name? Uh, he was pissed off that Sega was going to use his engine without his permission. And he basically got the thing shut down. He said he would walk if they didn't not make the fucking game. Which is, which is crazy to imagine. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, well, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... 
Monk of Bullets, your favorite game. Your hair was found at the scene. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Yeah. Tony, 3D, Sonic 3D Blast exists. It's real. Now, yeah, I know. I was thinking that I was mixing together a bunch of stuff. I was mixing that story about the Knights into Dream Engine being uh, being stolen. Not really stolen, but just borrowed without permission, basically. With the uh, with the fact that Sonic and uh, fucking... I was called it Sonic into Dreams. Sonic 3D Blast fucking exists. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. <laughs> How will you? I'm on it. Tony, distract Knuckles while I fix the Super Monkey Ball machine. Bring it on. Oh god, is there combat now? Or is it just... No, it's just more rings. Uh, I don't like... I don't like the rings. Oh, I'm not a big fan of the rings. Oh, fuck, I'm really not a big fan of these rings. Oh, I actually did that one in one go, though. I'll take it. I'll take that. Am I actually gonna beat him up? The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Vector beat him by one point. Oh, no. What does it tell us? Vector, Nuck, Toast, Apple, Bread, Ultim, Bagel, and Candy. Wow, one fucking point. Nothing, obviously. Tells us something massive. Look at the name on top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. <laughs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, he destroyed the arcade cabinet. Ugh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Proof to me he was here now! Fucking Christ. Uh. God, what would Sonic do? I'm sure he'd have an answer for all this. Uh. Oh. Please. Please. Oh, 45 rings. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Tony, but the running sections in the end are quite hard. Yeah, I'm sure this is gonna be great when I have to do the harder ones. Now, Tony, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Um... This. No. God, I... There's fucking cat hair in my mouth. You know what's the best when you live with animals and then there's just hair in everything that you own? It's great. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I, I was... <laughs> d d don't tell Amy! I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth, trying to figure out the game, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what about the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here, too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something, but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back from something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Tony, can you look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Knuckles talking about? They're tails. Uh, bread, bagel, candy. Ultim? 
I mean, all of them are food except for Ultim, so we'll go for Ultim. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Tony, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The Ultimate Life Form. <gasps> Shadow! There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. It's a key. Shadow told me to, to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, she has a special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the bir in the library? God, I almost said birthday. In the library to cause Vector to come here. Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them for yourselves. Oh, there we go. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. Library's the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Tony. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Tony! Coming! Alright, off we go to the next room. Ready to mosey down to the next car? No way, dang nabbit. You got it, partner. Onwards we go. Ugh. I think we'll do this in two streams. I'll do the library, and then I think I'll... I'll be all set for today. And then we'll do all of the second half after. On another day. We'll see. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been absolutely, fabulously helpful. Alrighty, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet, thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. <gasps> Amy, there you are! Have you found any leads yet? Or do you want to join us in finding clues? Let's see if she found any leads. Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl! <gasps> She knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quickly. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has the master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... You here to ask if anyone's hungry? I'm starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right now. Maybe kill is the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. God, I wish he'd handle my raw meat. I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from Poet to Reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmatic of prose. Uh, can, can I hear some? Sure, uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. Dee 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 dee. Was, was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Tony and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Alright. When we were all set off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? What happened to her lipstick stain on a cup in the saloon car? We happened to see. 
Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then, she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after, and we heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Sonic came through and locked the door. Or Shadow, excuse me. I wonder what she found. She's obviously on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then, entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returning to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Hmm, yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. All these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around, and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibis seemed solid enough, but we should search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task. But we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. What if it was the arm that did it? I mean, the arm is the only one that's consistently in every single room, you know, who, like, could do it. I bet it's the arm. Let's check this half first. Wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on, then. Well, I mean, a little peek couldn't hurt. He's scavenging through the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. Mirage Express Manual. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of it. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck, this reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. That'd be just... Oh, there's a the fucking trash can, dude. Let's check the table. Let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are really comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Tony, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time, a murder ruined my nap time. Let's see. Oh, there he is! There he is! On the fucking wall here! That's the Sonic Forces OC! With the stupid hat and everything. That's funny. Alright, let's see. Got the arm. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Chaos Cola, Chaos Cola. Let's go for the planet. The globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat, either. Hmm, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you've ever visited, I, be sure to stop by the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. We'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone, and it's been everywhere, haven't they? I mean, they've been to space a few times, too. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little, ca <laughs> little chow hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. It's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no, no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Let's see. The trash can, we got the arm, and we got the books. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. 
A lot of these were knocked by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I'm sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Ooh! Tony, look at this! There's a couple maps here. It seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take a look. There we go. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Looks like there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean this mess up either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah! I really thought there was something that would be there. Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No. Alright. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Okay, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Tony, you're pretty unconventional, but I like it. Is that supposed to be a compliment? It was a compliment. He likes us, he thinks we're unconventional, that's good. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk, we'll, we'll talk to Vector last. That's, I've been, I've been liking doing that. The place is sad. I bet Dr. Eggman makes banger huevos, huevos rancheros. You know, I'm not gonna lie, they should put out a fucking, so hold on, is there a Sonic cookbook? Before I request one. Sonic the Hedgehog cookbook. Come on, Google, don't fail me now. Holy shit, Sonic the Hedgehog, the official cookbook from Barnes and Nobles. It has a five out of five on goodreads.com. It sells, it, it, it sells, it, it has chili dogs right on the fucking cover. I can get it as a hardcover book. I should fucking buy this. The table of contents is literally so... This image is so small that I can't even see it. It's got chili dogs and something called Evil Cookies with a picture of Eggman on it. Can I find, like, images that are bigger? I'm gonna buy this. It's 176 pages. 50 plus recipes from Speedy Bites to Power Pack Feast to satisfy even the speediest heroes. Sonic the Hedgehog, the official cookbook, includes a recipe for every occasion. Brings beloved characters to life. Engage with the Sonic universe in a fun new way by making recipes inspired by fan favorite characters such as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Amy, and Dr. Eggman. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna fucking buy this. I'm absolutely gonna buy that. I've already got the Bob's Burgers cookbook, so I'm good. Nah, dude. A good chef has a collection of cookbooks. I've got so many fucking themed cookbooks. I have yet to cook something from the Avatar cookbook. I really should. Maybe sometime this week. Fancy a poem? Uh, can I get a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. Oh, I like all these chows here. Look at how cute these chows are. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? Can I take your order? Start interrogation? Let's talk to him. What'll it be? No, I don't want to do another one of these. Get that out of there. Start interrogation. Let's go talk to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef with a ketchup-stained apron. Not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Yeah, but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Uh, here, let me, uh, nothing like cold cuts for a cold case. Let me know if you need any good butchering. Let's check the door. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of this? Yeah, I do believe we should. Lock is in the inventory. I think we have enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened here. Let's check here. Let's check all these, actually. An exhaustive manual of the Mirage expresses many features and capabilities. Oh! 
There doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. An overhead map of the layout of the library, shelves and tables included. A lock that supposedly Shadow had been placing on multiple doors of the train. Alright, let's interrogate Vector first, why not? Interrogate him! So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't want a proper de I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Tony and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We pre we're prepared to present evidence if need. Ah, oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was, says Vector. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what book it might be. Tony, could you help me out? Alright, what book is it? This one. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Uh, <laughs> uh. More, more shrings, please. No. Oh! Okay. So that will be there for a while, and then it'll come down. Boink. Not gonna get me. I'm too good. What do you think chili dogs are made of? Soy? I mean, the answer is pretty easy. It's a lot of chili and a lot of dogs. You ever notice how outside- Oh shit! You guys want to know the motivation? Listen, the original menu of this train car didn't include chili dogs. That was added because Sonic was going to be coming. And because in this universe, chili dogs are made of chili and dogs, the conductor, being the only dog character we've seen, is upset that Sonic would order a dog to eat. He's the one who murdered Sonic. Because Sonic is eating his entire race of people. I'm a better detective than Tails will ever be. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. Except this manual. Meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. <laughs> this lack of attention to details is normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like the. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Tony, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, let's go for page 97, I think. The conductor was going to order up a chili hog. <laughs> oh my god. The pinnacle of manliness is Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. It seems like SBO act aced that question. Tony, hit him with another one! Okay. Uh, ooh. Let's go for 15. That's a good number. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you'll be charged a no-show fee. This is not... Apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee. The person who made the rules must have been over 65. Last one, Tony. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? 
Ooh, 402, because if you flip those two numbers, it becomes the lol funny reddit number. Uh, what was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general terrain obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this one. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yeah. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've cleared, clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. It's very impressive. No, no, I, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we could... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Tony? He always puts me on the spot. Alright, think. What piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading? Well, obviously it's the lock, because Shadow would have had to have come through here. I mean, the brochure, maybe, but that's that's not it. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're up, Tony. Let's get our argument together. Well, yeah, obviously he came through here and locked the door. He must have seen you reading. Am I moving faster than normal? Holy shit. I just walked through that fucking spike. Did you see that? Yoink. I actually just have to avoid taking damage at this point. I maybe need to connect or collect all that many rings now. About trains, you, you go king. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, trains are cool. Have you guys, speaking of trains, I don't know if you guys seen it, this guy's kind of gone viral in the past couple months. There's this one fucking guy on social media I see that's just obsessed with trains. He's like in his 20s, he just fucking loves trains, dude. I don't know how to describe him to you, like to for you to like be like, oh yeah, I know that guy's content, other than to be like, hey, do you know that one guy on social media who's super autistic about trains? Literally, that's just his whole thing, and honestly, I'm all there for it. The dude fucking loves trains. Oh yeah, the train- yeah, there you go, see, look! Digo's like, oh yeah, the train guy. You just know. You if you've seen him, you just know. Because you, you're you not gonna stumble upon a super happy train guy and, like, not remember it, you know? Shadow walked through the train car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the highest score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Gamers! I'm gonna fucking screen cap that up. Espio said he saw Shadow in the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk through the library car when he left the saloon car, Espio. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. <laughs> I mean, it's a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice him. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I, I, you see. I can sense Espio's desperate desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But... How would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Tony. One that would, I would love for Espio to solve. God, believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I just, I just didn't notice him pass through the library car. Honest! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. Mm. Must have avenged my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I w- I, had, I did it. Why well, doesn't seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. 
Is that Spear simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Let's join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails when he's onto something. Plus, I mean, Espio can, like, turn invisible, right? And he can climb walls? He could very easily have, have gotten out. I'll let him continue his line of questioning. And... Uh, my... Tony, my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous! Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued! I do love that the backstory... Like, the, 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 the flashbacks are changing. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? The map? Yeah, there's, like, blind spots. Alright. Let's get my thoughts in order. Boink. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, don't make me restart the whole thing. Fuck. Ugh. Oh. Why not just take away more rings if I fall off the fucking ledge? More rings, please. Please, 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 please. Ah! It took a little bit of damage, it's fine. There we go. Easy peasy. Only one fuck up that time. The library map. Oh. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Uh... Here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it, then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot, because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen it. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But, I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most all airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Nice. Too many locked doors to worry about. I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, her work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then, that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick-tock. Tick-tick-tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. God, I wish I could be in Espio's caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Tony. Let's see what's next. Coming. Ah, uh, and with that, we have finished this car, the library car. Uh, we will take a break here, and I will probably... I, I, I thought this was super fun and cute. I will pick this up next week, and we will finish off the story going through the last couple cars. Uh, 100%, it's just the conductor. My theory about the chili dog is completely correct, and if you argue otherwise, uh, you're wrong. You're just incorrect, but hope you guys had a good time. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we've got more Persona 5 and more Balheim coming. Uh, and Sam and I are going to stream a game this weekend together. So I hope, uh, hope you guys are, are around for this week. See you later. Have a good rest of your night.